up, y'all? Happy Friday. I hope you had a good week. We had a lot of learning on rigid transformations. And so today we're just going to really kind of think about what have we already learned and then how is it connected to a coordinate and what happens to our points when we move things. So our goal today is let's transform some figures and see what happens to the coordinates of the points. So we've looked at transformations, rotations, reflections. Now we're actually going to really dive into the idea, okay, what happens to our points when we move these these vertices, okay? So to get started off, I just want you to pause the video, but your goal is to see if you can select the translations that take triangle T, so the blue. So we're focusing on translating this triangle T to triangle U. Um, there may be more than one correct. So go ahead and pause it, and just see if you can figure this out. But if we're looking here, right, we're going from T to U. So if we're going from negative three, zero, yeah, that's a vertices on T. 2, 1, 2, I would say, yeah, right? Same vertices. It would match up on itself. It doesn't rotate or turn it. And it's the exact same vertices. And we're going from T to U. Yeah, that matches. So 1 is correct. Now, if we're looking at 2, it says translate 2, 1, 2, negative 2, negative 1. Now, they match up correctly. They are the same vertices. But the issue is, is that that's changing our, our rule here. We're going from U to T instead of from T to U. So 2 actually doesn't work. 3 says translate negative 4, negative 3 to 0, negative 1. Yeah, that works. All right, Our rule is to translate T to U, not U to T. Same vertices, same shape, doesn't change it, rotate it, doesn't reflect it, it doesn't grow it. Exact same vertices. Yes, that one works. And then 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1. Um, now, this one doesn't work either, right? Because that's not the correct translation. It's actually still looking at the same shape. It's not translating it to the correct image. 1, 2 is also on you. Um, so, not correct. Now, here, uh, we're going to be kind of looking at this. It says the point R has coordinates 3, 2. Yeah, it does, right? This point right here, oh, let me grab it. This point right here is at the point 3, 2, okay? So without graphing, all right, I just want to see, can you make a prediction on where you think this image will be if we want to reflect it, if we wanted to reflect R over the X or the Y axis to have Y be our line of reflection? So take a second, see if you can predict where that would land um, if we're trying to reflect point R over the y-axis, okay? So hopefully you figured it out, right? So if we're trying to reflect over the y-axis, we're trying to reflect over the y-axis, well, that means if we're one, two, three spaces away from the y-axis, then we're going to land three spaces away from it. One, two, three away. So R is going to end up right there. Actually, sorry, R prime is going to end up right there. Okay, so now that we have it there, let's go ahead and label it R prime. Great, we did that. But let's, what are the coordinates going to be? Our new coordinates for this are now negative 3, 2. Right? So when we reflect over the y-axis, what's changing? Okay, so if this is 3, 2... Hopefully you're realizing that from 3, it became negative 3, but our 2 stayed the same. So I'm hoping you're realizing that when we reflect over the y-axis, okay, when we reflect over the y-axis, your x changes from a positive to a negative, or it could go from a negative to a positive, depending on which way you're going. Okay. So now it says, suppose you reflect a point using the y-axis as line of reflection, how would you describe its image? Well, we can now just describe it that it's going to flip and the x signs are going to change right? The x points are going to change signs. Hopefully you're kind of understanding the purpose of what just happened there, right? So when we reflect over the y, your x changes. I'm hoping that you would realize, let's say we reflect over the, or let's say we reflect over the x-axis. What happens if we reflect over the x? 1, 2, 1, 2. So it's going to end up here. That's r prime because it's our new image. Well, this is at 3, 2. And our new image is still at 3, but now it's at negative 2. Hopefully, you're all seeing the connection, right? Over the Y, your X changes sign. Over the X, your Y changes sign. Watch the next video.